Hey friends, welcome to this week's video of Montana Haven, Alaska edition. It's looking pretty good. Pretty loud though. Pretty cloudy. This is already midday on Monday and we've been doing all kinds of stuff, but sometimes I don't know where to start the video. So I just got to start at a random place and here, here he found me. Here's my random place and you get what you get. So just a quick update this morning. Uh, we've been having kind of chilly temps, like 18 to 20 degrees, and I forgot I need to winterize the RV. I don't know, just too many things going on. So this morning I pulled it up, parked it in here, and we covered it. I got heat going in so it'll thaw out. We got to run RV fluid inside the RV to kind of get that uh, worked out. That's my buddy's boat. We might go moose hunting with that next fall. And uh, I just parked it here for temporary. So anyways, the boys have been working on putting soffit up underneath. I'll show you that. I ran into town. I got the door, the windows, uh, some electrical supplies, some stain, and I rented a sprayer. So right now I don't have one. And I'm going to spray all these uh, timbers and stuff. So I'm going to get that done because it did warm up to about 40, uh, I don't know, what is it? I think close to 40 degrees. It's raining a little bit. So um I want to get this done while we have a little bit of uh, a, a warmer spell and it's going to cool off again, maybe get some snow a little bit later. Waiting on the metal to get in, get uh, cut hopefully later this week. So anyways, today I'll, I got to get it stained. They're working on soffit and we're just going to carry on, do what we can get done. So Priscilla's in the house. She's uh, homeschooling the wee ones uh, that are not so wee anymore. Um, so this week, yep, we're just going to be work on the garage the boys have some uh, flight lessons they're doing their um, soloing uh, trying to get their hours to build up for their they have to have a total of 40 hours flying before they get their license so they're working on that um, we got this ditch that we dug uh, for our gas line and our uh, power out to the garage um, I had to run to get a tester to make sure everything is it's holding the pressure uh, so that I can cover that hopefully get that covered today just a lot lot going on Hey, there's Miss Chloe. She's going to come out and help me, I guess. So there you can see the softening the boys have been putting up. And they are working on this side up here. Working on that over there. Dad's in the back, and Wyatt is right here doing this.
I think that went fairly well. Looks pretty good. Pretty happy with the results. I'm gonna run and take the sprayer back now. And then it's time for dinner. These are pieces that we're gonna use for what I call up front here for the false truss. We're gonna be making, uh, on this part right here, there'll be like um, across beams and stuff like that. So make it kind of look kind of like rustic. Okay, back this morning. And we are, we had a bunch of rain last night. So this trench obviously sank down about six inches. So we're just sprucing it up now. So got that done. Looks like we're gonna get in the teens again. So I wanted to get this covered. I got an electrician coming and maybe tomorrow and we'll hook that up uh, with the panel on the inside of the house. So got that run. And then uh, I'm doing a pressure test on this hose over here. So once I get that completed, we'll cover this trench right here. And Justin's putting uh, the battens on the back of the shop there. Okay, we got the gas pressure testing done and we're putting it back together again. We are ready to start backfilling. Everything's pressure tested, hooked back up on the other end. And I'm gonna get all this closed up. Check up on Justin. Yeah, he's getting it done. Looking good, Justin. And this trench is covered up. That's a good feeling. Glad to have that behind us. Kind of tore up the, you know, tore it up a little bit over there, but tried to do as little damage as possible. And a guy can throw some grass on there in the spring. I think it'll be fine. Let's go check up on Ethan. What you doing, Ethan? Uh, cutting the back. Okay, and then you've been working on the metal. Where's that metal at? There's some. Okay, so he cut the metal for the wrap around here, so we're gonna put that on shortly. Okay, there it is. There's our metal on there. Now, next step is we can put our uh, frame out around the outside and put our bats on. We got the excavator, four-wheeler parked underneath there. You're gonna get the skids through underneath there. Wow, it's so fun to have a roof. Looks like Ethan's gonna start it. A bit of a cold-blooded beast. side is done. Yay. And Avalon's got dinner ready. Try again. Looks like that one works. Yippee. Dinner time. Got some snowflakes coming down this morning. Justin and I are gonna be working here till noon. Ethan's helping with schooling today, give Priscilla some time that she needs to do some things. So we're gonna be working this morning on getting the outside of the garage trimmed out and going from there. A little bit dark, it's about nine o'clock and it uh, still is kind of darkish out.
Okay, Justin, you're ready. Time to wrap it up. It's lunchtime. We got the softening on up here and on the other side. And we still got to do softening up here in the front, but we got the garage doors wrapped. Justin is working on the side there. And we got the door installed. Got these uh, little pieces in here and here. So we're making progress. It's just one piece at a time, you know. back this morning and we're going to finish this soffit and then the electrician is going to be coming and uh, we're probably going to need to help him do that so we'll see what we get done just continue to work on doing everything that there needs to be done putting the OSB on this wall right here. That filled in. The electrician was just here and got our power in right here. So that's cool. We're going to hook up the other end yet. He'll come in the morning and help us do that. See what Justin's doing. He is going to finish this little trim piece up along here. in for today yay so we got all our softening underneath there we got our trim on today we have everything prepared here for our truss we're gonna put a truss on here yet this side is done down here uh, what else do we get done Justin got the window trimmed over there got the window in the back trimmed. he got the door trimmed out here yeah, good day. Oh, we got that done up in there. And we're basically done on the outside, except putting these bats up. That's something that's going to take a minute. These garage doors are going in next week. 
And so I think we're gonna get started on putting the bats up tomorrow and then, oh, yeah, and then work on the inside, but. We're also waiting on the roof metal to get done. I guess that they did not have that, the color in stock, so they're getting it from Fairbanks. They told me they would have it ready for us this week, but it hasn't happened yet. So I'm hoping that uh, they can still get it for us tomorrow. I want to get it done before it snows. So as soon as it, as soon as we can, we want to get the roof on. So if that happens tomorrow, we're going to get started on that. Otherwise, we'll keep plugging away at it. We're making good progress, I think. So we'll see what tomorrow brings. Good morning, friends. Look at what my wife made. Just incredible. This is one of our favorite breakfasts. Tell us a little bit about it, babe. Oh, it's, um, what is it called? A sourdough breakfast pizza. So Wonderful. The crust mm -hmm. is sa sourdough discard, and then we just put on some meat and cheese and eggs. Oh, so good. Chloe, time for breakfast. There you go. And that is the... Final piece for the battens on the outside of her garage. Been working on it today. Got them done. Let's go check out this other side. There it is. Do a quick walk around. And our metal's not coming in till next week. So hopefully we don't get any snow. It looks like snow in the forecast, so I'm a little concerned, but it is what it is. Get this all done. Let's come around to the other side. And there you have it. Now, the only thing that we got left on the outside is to put this uh, metal down here, Wayne's coat metal, and we got to put that on. And then the metal on top, and we're pretty much done. It's got to be painted, but I don't think we're going to get warm enough weather this fall. So that's, that's a bummer, but it is what it is. I recruited Wyatt to drill holes for the electrical. So I'm running the wiring now. Well guys, we are spending last night and all of today, Saturday. What is it, babe? Where are we at? First of all, look at this beautiful sun <laughs> and look at this lake. This is Lake Lucille and there's people out here ice fishing already on the ice. And it's you, it's totally clear. Like you can see down into the ice. I don't know if you can see that, but it's barely thick enough, about two inches thick. So, uh, but we're just taking a little walk out here. But what are we doing, babe? Uh, we're doing a personal mastery class, which I'm sure most of you don't know what that is, or some of you don't. <laughs> uh, go ahead. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we, we did this in, in February, and this was in Anchorage, and they came to our town here in Wasilla, and we were able to go here again. It's basically like a personal development. It's really, really good. Yeah. And it basically helps you um, get rid of all those programs that are automatically, yeah. you know, shape you in the person that you are. Mm -hmm. And it, uh, it helps you get rid of those sunglasses that we all have on and yeah. helps us to uh, open better communication and relationships, yep. all that stuff. It's Invest like in ourselves. All over personal development. Right. Which I think we talked about this almost a year ago. Right. We did the same thing. So in, Jan yeah. in February, we did it. Yes, it was yep. February. Guys, I think we'll put a link down below in the description box and you guys can check out if I think that we can provide a code and if you guys want to use the code you get 50% off um, and they have them all over the United States here and there not all the time but mm -hmm. you just have to go on the website and see where the next one is but mm -hmm. anyways they do have them all over and it's really really good we would certainly encourage everybody to do it it's like a two and a half day event yeah. uh, it's pretty life-changing if you've never done anything like this and even if you have it's super duper good yeah so the boys were gonna go flying but there's something wrong with the airplane electrical system mm -hmm. so they can't go flying so uh, 
think they're just coming back, going back home again, and maybe working on their trap line or something. Yeah. All right, time to get back inside, but it's so beautiful out here. It's just glorious. Look at that sun, blue skies. <laughs> it was like 16 degrees. This yeah, morning, it was though. 16. Well, we came home tonight, and look at all these notes in our bed. I'm going to read you this one. This says, this was all from Chloe. Love you, Mom and Dad. You can trash this paper. I was just telling you who made this stuff. Love you, Mom and Dad. And then they, she's got all these cool things, little roses that she made. Isn't that cool? Very nice, Chloe. And then last night, they, Avalon made that for me. And what do you have, Priscilla? Oh, she also made this card. Yeah, you can open nice. It. Open me. Okay. So neat. Thank you, Chloe. You're so <laughs> special. Mm, I love you. <laughs> so guys, check this out. Priscilla, why don't you tell me a little bit what this is and going on and maybe Rachel as well. <laughs> Are you good with that, Rachel? Sure. Okay. So this is a painting that um, I did this last month. Um, and Priscilla was the model for um, the lady on the horse, and she represents Deborah riding into battle. And, and the scriptures that are all in the flag, the Lord said, add the silver lining to the flag. And I thought he wanted me to get my boiling out. And he said, no, the silver lining is the word of the Lord. And so the scripture went on, and it's the book of um, Judges with Deborah. There's Gideon in there. There's a lot of word in the flag. And, um, and then it, we took it to Washington, D.C., and it was on the mall for One Million Women Conference, um, where we were releasing the call to be Esther's and Deborah's. And um, hundreds and hundreds of women came and got pictures because they were ministered to by the call to run, to run into battle yes. for Jesus. Yes. This, and see where there's the scripture on the flag and on the flames and the sword. Their scripture. I feel so humbled and blessed to that she used my face for for this painting. I feel like I've been a part of it, even though I wasn't in Washington D.C. I was there in spirit. My painting was there. <laughs> Here's another picture that Rachel painted, and this is a picture of Jesus. Very powerful, and these pillars, she has the entire book of Esther in these pillars. And there's a lot of other things I don't even know uh, what all she's got in there. She's got scripture up in here. She's a real amazing painter. And guys, I think, I'll put a link in the description box uh, if you guys want to. She actually does custom painting and I think it's, for what she does, she does a very, very reasonably priced. So, pretty amazing. Lots and lots of amazing paintings. Heading home from church, just a spectacular day. Oh, it is so beautiful. Just fantastic. Have a surprise this morning. Yes, it's coming down. Ta da! All right, it's that time of year. I got a snow machine fired up. And what might you be up to now, my dear? <laughs> Making homemade ice cream. 